station here is super dry because we're really in full winter now and I kind of like this winky lux look at the change in color so subtle That's so nice all right and it's quite moisturizing it's December 29 today and I am workstation my little cozy corner it's kind of messy but i do like it i am going to catch up a little bit on work get caffeinated and then i am going to film a little bit of a planning i guess um it's very cliche but i'm doing a little bit of planning for goal setting for next year so let's Get your own work and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Hello again. Caught up with my work and now I'm gonna take a slower pace for the rest of the day and start working on my goal setting for next year. And I got my cup of matcha here. Mm. Really? All right, let's do some goal setting. things I set for myself in 2022. One is um, I would like to make monthly investments um, and to really like start paying myself first uh, for every paycheck. I wanted to actually start actively putting things into um, shares or cryptocurrency, whatever. But I found that like after several months of maybe two, three months of like doing that, um, it just stopped. I have no idea concrete idea why but somehow it just stopped working um, other thing too was working out um, I wanted to work out or set myself on a schedule to work out at least like two to three times a week um, but unfortunately that too that didn't quite work out as well she was really bright so let's change you guys to the other side so much better yes and so um, back to where I was and we're talking about workout so workout was another fail for me um, I wanted to work out more regularly like three times in a week but I find that when work starts to get really crazy um, especially like in October November this year I completely stopped there's just no time um, I couldn't fit it in uh, maybe it's also because I started traveling and that kind of like messed up the rhythm and cadence. So I, I wasn't able to keep up with that. And then the last thing that I put for myself was I want to take more regular PTOs and to go on trips. And that was another fail for me. So that's me learning from my failures in 2022. Um, and you know, of course, like there's a lot of like books and vlogs around productivity and planning and everyone has been saying that you know you don't set goals you set systems that can help you succeed so the project that we're gonna do together 
for the next few days, um, today and tomorrow, would be to set ourselves up for success for 2023. It's New Year's Day and I am going to spend the day with this one. <laughs> okay, so I was also sharing the other day with you guys that um, a lot of my 2022 goal fails is because like I failed to be consistent um, and I think clearly that means that the routine that I set for myself was just too rigid of a system that didn't really work because um, when certain days get too busy for example then you know the time to exercise will come but I just skip it because like, I don't have time for that day. Um, same thing with my skincare routine and also my saving goals. Um, it's a combination of being forgetful. When things get busy, I tend to forget about these things. Um, so even if I wrote down that I kind of wanted to do it, um, you know, that hour happened and then I wasn't, I was too busy and then, and then it never happened. So I, <laughs> and then I forget about it. Um, and then I eventually gave up on it too. But, so today I want to spend it more intentional and also walk you guys through my new system whereby I'm trying to clip keep to a more fluid system um, that is not so rigid that allows me to shift things around. So you know instead of just ignoring it when it happens, I will move these blocks around and also be more adaptable so it's not fixed in stone that is always going to be happening like for example my workout on Wednesday on Monday Wednesday Friday for example um, but you know it's it's more flexible and I plan it a week in advance so like I set all these dates but I will adjust them on a weekly basis so that I increase my chances of succeeding all right so welcome to my happiness bar journal and this is a template that I have downloaded from Notion and you guys can also hop to the website here, thehappinessbar.com. Um, I really like this format. I know there's various ways and formats to journaling and you know, I think it's all about like picking um, the best of each templates and formats out there and just customizing it to form your own. So this is the one that is most helpful to me. The reason why I have chosen to also journal on Notion is because I like the fact that you know I can carry it around with me. It's on my phone. The app is also on my iPad. It's on my laptop so it's always super easy for me to just pull it up and just input any ideas that i have and um you know if i wanted to start journaling on the subway i can do that too so it's all super nice and easy um there's a few section here which i really like um obviously there is a content section a bookmark that you know basically jumps allows you to jump to the different sections of this page here um, I'm gonna slowly walk you guys through obviously up top here is your goal manifestation that you have so this is where you can list down all your different key goals that you have um, for this year and what you want to achieve and then obviously the most important part of all this planning is to create a system that can help you to achieve those goals um, and I will go through that in a little bit um, but yeah, I, I wrote down here a few four tips from um, basically the book Atomic um, Habits and you know it's all about making it obvious, making it attractive, making it easy and satisfying. So um, as I've mentioned just now in a little bit, um, you know it's all about creating a more fluid system in my case so it's about like creating weekly invites invitations to myself um, I would invite I will create recurring weekly invites first for a lot of the events that I want them to happen like my workout like my journaling um, and also let me be in my skincare routine things like that but then I will also revisit them on a Sunday night to um, actively change things around shift things as um, the week comes along and uh, make adjustments to it um, even during the week itself and then we have a section here where you can write a future letter um, it's not I'm not gonna share this at this moment here but you can write down you know a couple of things um, entries um, I'll show you the blank template versions but um, yeah, I intend to fill this out this um, over the course of this week and then to have something fun for myself to revisit um, on December 29th at the end of this new year. And then we move on to the weekly journal section here. Um, I like to practice the gratitude uh, journaling system and here you can see um, I, this is a template that I've crafted for myself. I like to take note of the day's weather um, because I 
notice that my mood and you know tends to shift um, according to the weather as well and so when it's gloomy and rainy outside it's just really hard to maintain a positive outlook and so it's all about setting setting my intentions right for the day and then adjusting my mindset to it reframing my mind um, and then like you know um, yeah so anyway here's an entry that I have already um, that I'm like grateful about the things that happened um, over the past uh, I would say the recent weeks in this case because it's um, I'm starting a journal fresh um, then I have already created a template for my first day back at work when I'm ready to fill that one out again this system that I've crafted for myself is meant to be um, really fluid so like I can journal whenever I feel like I need need to when my mind and spirit craves for it um, so it can be daily it can be any other day or it can just be a weekly system as well um, here is a template that um, these uh, happiness bar journal has and that is the happiness station which I really um, find it super cool um, there's a section here that helps you to write down um, that encourages you to write down what your mind loves body loves and soul loves when you know things that you can refer to when you're feeling a little bit blue so um, I've listed mine down below and these are the things that I can indulge myself in whenever I'm feeling like I need that little bit of a booster um, so that is that and then I also created this um, I was inspired by the happiness station and I created for myself a stress buster section here where I can help myself reframe my mindset um, with more powerful thoughts and so this is my happiness journal section um, I also talk about briefly a more detailed system that I created so this is kind of a sneak peek to it I do have more detailed goals um, like more step by step and more concrete steps towards achieving what I want to achieve in at the end of this year because um, a lot of those goals are more of a state of mind and a habit and lifestyle change so um, I have crafted more detailed steps to it um, and then here is like some of the key pillars of what each of this encompasses like things like you know how I want to treat myself um, so I created a ritual for myself basically um, grouping the events into the activities into weekly monthly and quarterly events all this will then be translated into a Google invitations um, calendar invitations to myself that I set on recurring the regular cadence and um, it's all fluid so I just serve as a reminder um, but you know whenever I choose to snooze it I just need to shift that time block back to where it's supposed to be and yeah that is my journal alright so thank you guys for watching today's vlog it's uh, more of a kind of a different um, and it's really all about sharing uh, a system that I hope you know might be helpful and beneficial for you there's a lot of similar content out there as well so it's all about crafting and finding something that works best for you and this is just my versions um, if it inspire you um, I hope it's helpful too and I hope to see you guys in my next vlog I am making some changes and tweaking my content pillars in my channel and I hope that um, you know I'll continue to bring more interesting content to you guys on my blog and also remind myself that ultimately this is also a space for me to um, really note down the things that uh, happen in this chapter of my life and things that I'd like to share so well hope to see you guys in my next video please subscribe if you like my channel and see you guys next time bye